Right, I got all the grooves cleaned out, so that looks good. Uh, dry fit looks good. There's a couple of spots that I'm a little loose right back here with that tongue, but once that gets glued up, I'm going to be fine. So I'm going to rough cut these to length this long. They're going to be about a quarter inch shorter than that. I'm going to cut them a little bit longer than that, actually. Now the thing to remember when you're doing the top and bottom, and not so important on the bottom, but whichever face you want to see has to be down on the table saw. So let's just do this one and we'll see how it fits. Alright, took a little bit of shooting board work, but I got a nice fit. I haven't checked it for square yet, but I, I can do that here in a minute. So what I had to shoot was, I actually had to take a little off of the, both of the, uh, of the tongues all the way around because I cut it a little too deep. But now it fits good, nice and tight. So I'll put some clamps on that, pull it together, and then I can uh, put the top, or you know, work on the top, I should say. You can't really do that until it's glued up and, and, and rigid. I forgot to mention I did do the, I did cut this lip off the top, and I used my shooting board to bring that edge flush. It's just, just a hair under these uh, edges here. And that's that's okay. That, that way it won't ever get nicked up or broken. So that looks good too. Alright, I'm going to try the lid here. I've been uh, fine-tuning it to get it to slip in, but then I, it wouldn't go and I had a glob of glue there that was holding me up. So I got that out. Let's see if I can get this started here. Come on. right there. Now the question is where? I don't want to remove any more material off of this edge right here. I like that fit. So I think what I'm going to do is take my shoulder plane and just take a Get the cut off of each of these, each of these uh, shoulders right here, and see if that gives me enough room. I mean that right there is a nice fit, but you gotta you gotta have that over the whole length. And I'd rather kind of go in fairly easy till I got to about I don't know three quarter to seven-eighths of the way in, like maybe right about there. Then it got snug, and then you just finish it, finish closing it, and it stays put. Ooh, that's very close. Ooh. Now all I did, I didn't use my shoulder plane, I used my router plane. And these edges were very inconsistent coming off the table saw. So I removed just 
a little bit to get them, you know, uh, perfectly parallel to this edge. And that's amazing the difference that made. So I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to take just a fraction. Right. I just ran my shoulder, or my shoulder plane, my rotor plane along this edge, just like this. Making it nice and consistent. Now I'm going to drop this down just a fraction. I mean, let's see how much that is. See most of that came off the inside. All right, and while I've got this here, I'm just going to hit this edge a couple of times. Just take that really sharp edge off it. I've never fine-tuned one of my uh, sliding lids like this before, but this, to me, is the way to go. Okay, the one thing I'm seeing is it's tight across the top right here. Then it loosens up a little bit here. Then it gets tight back here and here again. So the problem I think is not these shoulders anymore. It's these sides. So that's how I can check that, is just flip it over and let these ride on the inside edge. That's good. Until right there. that smoothly like that. Take that every time. So what I think I'm going to do then, now that I know it does slide very well, I think I'm going to take a little off of these edges here. And I'll start just on this end. I'll take it up about halfway and uh, hit that with my block plane. Just to take a couple of light passes and come back and see how it fits. And that did the trick along with a couple of little other things I'll explain here. Now that slides nicely. 
And as it gets toward the end, it kind of snugs up. Then I can close it. Not all the way, but I'll take care of that. I gotta shorten that tongue up a little bit. So what I did was I took uh, one fairly uh, aggressive shaving, I, I don't want to say aggressive, I guess, but a thicker shaving from, from the, mid, the midpoint back on both sides. Tried it, got snug again here. So then I took and just took fine, the finest of shavings that I can with my block plane. Probably made two or three attempts at it. And then finally took one long pass on both sides, a fine shaving. And there you have it. That's that's almost closed with my just fingertip pressure there. And I can close it. But I can't pull it open. And I want to be able to pull that open. I can tap it open, which is good. So what I need to do here is uh, skim this right here, this this end edge. You can tell it's it's not it's proud. It's not it's not a real proud of these two. But I've got to take that down a little bit and take a little bit off the end so that it'll close fully. It's a little bit long right now. It's got a nice consistent gap. Oh, that's good. be closing because I can see a little bit of glue right down here. So I'm going to get that cleaned out and try it again. Now that could be enough to spoil your fit. Let's see how it goes now. Much better. All right, I still need to take a little bit off of that. A little bit off of this edge, but uh, that closed up pretty nicely. So let me do that. Then we'll come back and we'll take a final look at it after I get this. I gotta get these plane down flush to the lid. And we'll just see how it looks overall.